It's the return of the PBX project. Let's get started. A few months ago I started a project on a channel and it was a home PBX server and the idea was I was going to turn off my home service for telephone which is currently being provided by my cable company and then transferring my number over to Google Voice and then hosting my uh, phone service right at the house and then that was going to uh, save me some money because I wouldn't have to pay the uh, cable company for that telephone line and you know overall I thought it'd be a really cool project to do uh, this box here is not the original server that I was using and I'll leave a link here so you could see the uh, that old Penny 4 machine that I was using inside of a, uh, a rack mounted case this guy is uh, an HP RP5700 it's a slimline model uh, it's got a Core 2 Duo uh, Pentium 1.8 gigahertz it's a E2160 4 gigs of RAM and a hundred and actually a pair of 160 gig hard drives in uh, RAID 1 uh, this was sitting under my desk this happened to be a Craigslist find um, and I thought that this would actually would be way better to use as a PBX server for a couple of reasons the main reason was that Pentium 4 computer with that software uh, when I turned it on just a few weeks ago um, I did not follow my advice I actually wrote down all the passwords that I used you definitely wanna have some strong passwords and you wanna keep track of what you're using I'm gonna grab a pen and paper and I'm gonna keep track of what my passwords are so but I lost the paper <laughs> so uh, I didn't keep uh, a good handle on that I could not remember what my passwords were and I cannot get into the software so you know, knowing that I needed to do another reinstall, uh, I figured that I might as well just, you know, upgrade the hardware because I already had this box here, and uh, you know that would be better overall. Um, my old firewall uh, was one of these um, sort of slimline HP machines. It was a compact machine. These run really quiet. They run run very cool, and and they're sort of like uh, like machines that would be, you know, in an office. Uh, setting so they'd be on like all the time and that's actually what I'm looking for so this is gonna work out really well I think um, I went ahead and already installed the software on here um, it's really not much different than the old video and again I'll leave a link somewhere in here uh, it's a little bit easier to install because the uh, uh, the PBX and the flash software is a little bit more streamlined um, but the point of the next few videos is I'm getting back to this project I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to finish it uh, I had gotten a lot of response from a bunch of different people about you know what happened to this project. Well, the next few videos are going to be me finishing this thing. So I'm going to be talking about um, configuration. I'm going to be talking about sort of the steps that I'm going to have to follow to transfer my home number over to Google Voice, and then you know putting this in place and actually getting it running and um, you know finally being able to shut off my um, my home service. Uh, also. Uh, one of the cool things about this particular video is this happens to be the first video for me using the new camera and sort of the new setup. So I'm hoping that it's looking as good as I think it is. Uh, so I want to hear your opinion about that. Left, you know, again, leave me a comment and uh, you know, let's see how it goes. Uh, I think I'm rambling, but the point is the next few videos are going to be PBX project related, and I'm excited to get going on that. Definitely uh, check out the description. You'll find my links to Twitter and Google+. Follow me there. You'll get updates on when new videos are posted. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.